Welcome, everybody. Welcome in. Oh. anybody's out there just say hi i'm putting some more jewelry up here oh. just as i'm waiting for everybody to come in Paula, welcome in. Somebody try to call me. Hi, Amy. Hi, everybody. Just one moment, guys. I got to call my daughter back. I'll be real quick, though. Just one moment. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for letting me uh, call my daughter back. It was important. Hi, Bob. Everybody's here. Um, I wanted to give um, an announcement. Obviously, you see that I am here and I am not on Autumn Graces. Um, 
she is not available right now to run the auction. So I'm running it and hopefully she will uh, be back in, okay, um, to join us. Uh, but she's um, busy right, right at the moment. But hopefully she will come in. I know you guys um, are going to miss her tonight and uh, we all miss her when when she's not here. So, uh, and I know she wants to be here. So, um, as soon as I see her come in, uh, I will send her the link. Okay. Uh, Amy, how you doing? How's the fair been going? Uh, yeah, Bob and I got to discuss what time we can go to the fair and all that stuff. Hopefully we can. I'm really hoping we can, because that would be a lot of fun. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and get started, everybody. I think we'll do that. Um, I do have some new jewelry. I do have some new this and that. Uh, and, you know, whatever. Okay, thank you, Amy. Uh, I'm glad you, you said something because I, too, uh, everybody that paid me, I sent out your packages today, uh, so uh, you should have gotten an email when I printed out the label uh, with the tracking number. So just keep track of that number if you like to. Now, I never keep track of mine unless the package should have been here like weeks ago and never came in. Then I'll go and track it, but um, to each his own. Some people like to track their packages like I said, I usually don't unless there's a reason to. So, uh, But anyway, I did send out your packages. They are on their way to you guys, and I want to thank you so much for all your purchases. Hi, Kathy. Oh, cool. That's cool, Paula. Yeah, like I said, once you, you'll see in the email, it'll give you the tracking number. Once you click onto the tracking number, it literally tracks exactly where that package is right now um so i was i made it to the post office earlier this afternoon so uh hopefully it got sent out maybe it's it's already made its way to indianapolis or maybe not yeah that was pretty cool <laughs> yeah it's always fun to have some music and have a good time. Um, yeah, so I, like I said, normally I am, um, I'm glad you had fun, Kathy. And that's that's the, the most important thing is to have fun. Um, so we're going to get started. Like I said, I've got some. New jewelry, new, uh, new this and that for sale kind of stuff. Um, also, I know we talked the other night. This is kind of random, but I thought I would bring it up. Um, I'm super bummed to find out that the laundry soap that I use, that you guys all love, that surf, it's been discontinued, which is why I haven't been seeing it. I knew that was going to happen. I wish I would have stocked up. Uh, but no worries. Um, I'll be having a new detergent. So uh, just so you know, unfortunately, uh, I won't ever get to use that again. I was really hoping so. But, you know, uh, the company has discontinued. It wasn't a big seller. Um, I bought it because it was super concentrated and it smells so good. But unfortunately, uh, they've discontinued it. So, you know, it is what it is. I just thought I'd tell you, because I literally have a lot of people that ask me, Dawn, what soap do you use? It smells so good. And I'm like, um, it's Surf. Um, but Surf had like four or five different scents to it. We we used to buy the Aloha scent. That was the one. Well, you can't, Yeah. You can get it on Amazon. Um, there's still some left, but you are paying now like through the rough. It's a lot of money to get what few boxes are left. And I was just like, no, it is what it is. Uh, you know, 
they're just selling it until it's completely gone. The rest of it, what's out there online. So unfortunately, um, you know, it just didn't work out, but, uh, I will be finding a new one and hopefully it'll be just as good as the other, but I just wanted to mention that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, uh, I will be um, switching over to something. You guys will find out. Um, I did see there are some detergents out there that are like all natural. And I thought, boy, that's great. Unfortunately, you know, it's super duper expensive. And I'm like, yeah, that's not going to work either. I mean, I'm sure they're, they're great and they smell great. But if they're super duper expensive... Yeah, nobody's going to buy it. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd let you know because I know we were all talking about it before. We were talking about the laundry soap I use. Uh, so I did, I mean, I literally, and this is no joke, I called um, all the Walmarts around here. I called Angola. I called Maysville Road in Fort Wayne. I called just any Walmart. I called Kroger. Uh, they said, you know, uh, Kroger has it sometimes, CBS. No. Nope. Nada. So, like I said, it just didn't work out. But we're going to move on here. Let's get the show started. Uh, like I said, Autumn Grace uh, hopefully will be coming in tonight. But we're going to get started. And um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with Autumn and how that plays out. Oh, this one. I remember this necklace. Aha. Uh -huh. It is a Chico's, and we love Chico's, don't we? I am going to start this one out at 10, guys. This is a good one. This is a good one, and I think you're going to like it. I have a double-stranded chunky Rolo chain in gold tone, and it comes down here to the toggle. Right here, there's the Chico's uh, logo, and it comes down here to this big drop crystal. And the crystal, um, it's nice and cold. I think it's made out of glass. Uh, it's a champagne color. And it's fully faceted. And this one's starting out at 10. Um, this one's nice, guys. Um, the fact that it's toggle makes it easier to put on. You know, because you go like that. Now, for me, it would be a choker. I'll measure this. On me, it would be a choker. And uh, so that's a no-go for me. <laughs> I don't do chokers. I just don't. Um, this one's about 16 and a half inches or so, right around in there. And, uh, so it's a nice one, but like I said, it's not for me because I don't wear choker necklaces. Uh, rarely, rarely do I wear them. Uh, but this is a beautiful one. You guys know Chico's great quality, um, They don't use cheap stuff to make it. They use really nice stuff. Like I said, I, I think that's glass. That's a glass crystal. Real pretty. We're going to move on. I've got another piece. This is uh, similar, this necklace, to the one that I sold, Picky Nicky. Um, this has glass, just like hers did, and crystals. And uh, I'm going to start this one out at... Five. Once again, we got some amber and champagne colors going on. This is a smaller necklace as well. Uh, you've got the um, amber colored rondelle crystals that are fully faceted. And then you've got the like champagne colored glass beads up here. And uh, really, really nice. This one is lobster claw. I did clean... Um, the jewelry. Like I said, most of my 
jewelry is clean, guys. Most of it's clean. Not every single piece, but a lot of it is. Um, this is just at 15 inches, so it's a small one. It is going to be a choker on most everybody. Um, but if you like these colors and it's perfect for fall, um, give this one a try, will you? There's that. We're going to go on. And uh, if you guys have a friend or two you'd like to um, share the link out and uh, get them to join us, you're more than welcome. Hopefully we'll get some bodies rolling. And I know everybody's used to <laughs> autumn, and uh, but she got real busy, like I said, and she plans on coming in as soon as she can. She just, right now, it's not in the cards. We've got another dainty necklace. This one, oh, man, this one's nice. This one's got AB um, beads to it. This one is also 15 inches, but it does have an extender. And I'm going to start this one out at 8. These are one of those ones that you want to wear on a date night or when you're going out with the girls. Uh, really beautiful, this one. Um, it's got the AB uh, wash crystals, dangles to it on a gold tone chain. And like I said, it does have an extender. I would say about an inch, inch and a half on the extender. So you can lengthen it out to at least 16 inches. It's so pretty because this is one of those necklaces you can pair with a chunky pendant uh, necklace or something like that, or maybe just another um, chain even. So there's that one. Okay, let me get some earrings out. I think what I'm going to do, um, well, I'll show these one at a time. I was going to do a choice of, but I think we're going to do one at a time on the earrings because they're all different. And yeah, we'll just do it that way. The first ones that I'm going to show you, oh man, I love these ones. So unique. If you like the weird, if you like the unusual like I do, uh, and I hope somebody does because these are these are nice. Um, you're going to love these. Uh, these ones are going to start out at five. And these are chunky. These, these pack a punch right there. There they are. Take a look at those. Uh, we've got these big dangle uh earrings that are in like a crescent moon shape with uh, a circle up here and they have once again you know like butterscotch and amber colors in the beads um the butterscotch ones up here have a shimmer to the stones and then you come down here to chain and suede yeah those are suede tassels guys mixed in with the um chain and i think that's that's just awesome that's how it's gonna lay i tell you what if you got a suede coat this fall and you pair it with these wouldn't that be amazing and some suede brown boots oh there's a look some nice jeans yeah that'd be a great look all right we're going to go on to the next ones. The next ones are going to start out at three. These are long drop dangle earrings. And the color scheme on this is gold tone and like a peach, peachy orange flowers. So these are, these are big, just like the last ones, but they're a little bit different. They're like, Big, huge teardrop shape. And then you've got the three flowers with the rhinestones right dead center. Um, now, they don't weigh a lot, but I will tell you there is some weight to the earrings. So if you don't like any weight to your earrings, 
then you wouldn't want these, but uh, it's not a lot. It's just a little bit of a wait to let you know that they are there, okay? The next ones we are going to start out at three. These don't have any weight to them, really. They don't weigh a lot at all. And I think um, those of you that like the bohemian style, you would like these. These are wooden um, discs that have um, that scroll work cut out. Very, very lightweight on these earrings. Uh, they do go all the way down to the bottom of the jawline. And uh, there's a little bit of patina up at the top, but that can be uh, cleaned off. And uh, if you guys are interested in those, let me know. I am going to, guys, real quick, I'm going to see about sharing this out. Try to get some bodies in here, okay? Let me do that real, real quick. Just give me one second, guys. Okay. Let me do another one. Buddy, bad timing. All right, Black, you got to get down, buddy. Watch out, watch out. Hop up there. Hi, Stephen. Welcome, welcome. I just uh, was sharing... Um, this video out on Facebook. So hopefully we can get some more bodies in there. Sorry about that, guys. I just wanted enough time to where I could see um, if we could get some more people in here. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, those that are just coming in, like I said, Autumn is busy right now. Nothing's wrong. She's just uh, busy tonight and wasn't going to be able to have the auction. So she told me to go ahead and she would join us uh, possibly later. So we'll see. Uh, we're just not sure, you know, when or if or because um, she's helping her sister right now. And, uh, you know, her sister's been out of the hospital, but uh, she still, um, you know, needs help with some stuff. Oh, awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad you guys are having um, a good night, and we'll just go ahead. We'll show some more stuff, and as people come in, if they want to bid on something, then good. Uh, I'll see how this goes, and if we keep um, dropping off or if we keep if we gain some more people, hopefully we gain some more people. Um, so let me show some more. Earrings, like I said, I also have some odds and ends I will be showing. Um, let's show these. I think these are the, no, I was hoping to, no. I was looking for, I thought I had some owl earrings. Um, I'm going to show these earrings again. Um, these are tassel earrings. Uh, tassel earrings, here again, they're not for everybody, not every woman or man uh, likes a tassel earring. I like tassels. I don't have a problem with them. But like I said, not everybody cares for them, and I totally understand. Uh, but just so you know, like I said, I did clean my jewelry. These were ones I did clean. Um, so 
We're going to start these out at $3. And like I said, there are tassel earrings. There's like three layers of tassels. You got to just work with them. Guys, uh, once I washed them, they kind of joined up together, sort of, kind of. Uh, but you just kind of mess with them a little bit. And they're a gorgeous red. So there's those. Those are starting at $3. Oh, awesome. That's great, Amy. That is great. Great, great. I love it when things like that work out and you get blessed with some good merchandise. All right, guys, we're going to do a statement piece, and this is a statement and a half, but, oh, man, is this so cool. I haven't seen one quite like this. I will say that. Um, we're going to start this one out at 8. Oh, I totally understand, Amy. I'm, I totally understand that. I know. Uh, it's hard being on a budget, isn't it? <laughs> okay, the next one is a statement necklace. And like I said, I haven't seen one quite like this before. Uh, very unusual, but beautiful. I mean that in the best of ways. Um, these look like quartz stone, but they are not. Um, I believe these are just acrylic, uh, but they are faceted, and there's a lot of them. And they're on the gold tone mesh uh, collar piece. And so um, they're on there pretty good, too. So I don't think there's going to be any worry about them coming off they're on there pretty secure whoever made this one it's got a long extender uh this one's about three inches so this will definitely work for all you ladies out there if you do like the longer pieces that'll work for you and there's a lot of weight to that one guys i will tell you there's a lot of weight to that one you'll definitely know you're wearing it okay this next one is an owl necklace. I know I have some owl earrings somewhere that I put up, or at least I thought I did. Let me see. Is this one marked? No. Okay, this one is going to start out at 8. I love this guy. He's awful cute. Yeah, isn't it, Amy? I know, a pretty piece. Uh, this one, guys, is an owl, and he's sitting on a branch. Um, the owl itself, what it is, is they took a piece of mother of pearl. That white piece right there is actually shell, and they gave him some rhinestone eyes, and he's sitting on a little branch right there. This is a serpentine chain, one of those snake chains. Uh, you guys know. You guys know the serpentine chains, and they're um, they're usually more secure holding a piece on there. And the uh, owl is kind of weighty, so it's good that they used a serpentine chain. Honestly, I think that was the wise move. <laughs> I had to do it, guys. I had to. I'm showing an owl. What'd you expect? <laughs> I I tell the worst jokes, guys. I, I Even dad jokes are better than my jokes. So if you're looking for a good joke, uh, you probably won't want to look on this channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not the best joke teller. I'm just not. You know, just something comes to my head and I say it, but it's not necessarily a joke. I'm one of them people. All right, guys. I have another toggle necklace. Another chunky one. This one's cute. We're going to start it out at five.
And um, this one is a silver tone chain, nice and chunky, like I said. And then down here at the bottom is a toggle with a heart. The heart has like a peace sign in it. Um, there is some weight to this. Um, I think that's where, oh, they had the sticker there. No wonder. They had the sticker in the back of this pendant. Um. This one I did clean, but a little bit of the residue was on it. I was scraping it off. Uh, but I do want to tell you, hi, Jean, thank you. I do want to tell you the heart itself. And also, it looks like, I'll let you be the judge, Jean, whether it looks like it was supposed to look like that or whether it wasn't. If you want to take away your bid, you are more than... Um, you are more than able to go ahead. Because uh, I can't tell. I did clean this necklace along with the rest that I'm showing tonight. But when I look at the heart, it looks like either there's wear or they meant for it to look that way. And if you want to bypass on this, I certainly understand. Uh, I'm not sure... The more I look at it, I want to make sure that I it's something I didn't look at this one too good. Obviously, I threw a bunch of jewelry in the cleaner to clean. And uh, so I'm asking you what you think of this. And if you don't want it, I, I will pass that and we'll go on. It's a beautiful necklace, nice and chunky. But like I said, if you're not comfortable with that one, uh, I just want to show it to you so that you can see. Are you sure, um, Jean? Because um, I don't want to sell you something that um, is not. How about I do this, Jean? Uh, because I honestly, I, I'm not going to do it for $5. If you still want this, I will sell this for a dollar. It's totally up to you. If you don't want it, hey, we can just, I'll take it off the board, but I'm not going to sell it to you for five. Um, and it's totally up to you. But honestly, the more I look at it, I don't think it was supposed to look that way. In fact, yeah, Jean, I'm going to have to take this. I really do. I think it looks, Jean, I want you to look at this. It doesn't look good. I, I think I even see rust. I'm just going to chuck this. I'm so sorry. It just is not, it's not. I can't sell something like that. I, I think I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Oh, really, Paula? I'm glad you tried it. Jean, we'll just show some more because honestly, I looked at that. It just it doesn't look like it's supposed to be that way. I don't like I don't like the way it looks. I don't. I don't. I just don't feel comfortable selling something that looks like it shouldn't. I'll just be honest. So I apologize. We'll show some more. Uh, I just can't in good faith sell that. I can't. And if I, I'm going to really look, I've got, I don't have my bifocals on guys. I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm not seeing real well with these glasses. I see further away better. Uh, so I'm having a hard time seeing tonight. So if I don't catch something, I do apologize. I will look a little bit closer. Uh, we are going to start out the next one guys at eight. Oh, this is cute. And if Autumn were here, she'd throw a fit. Ah, uh, take a look at him. We got a little puppy dog. Look at him. He's got black eyes. He's got pave encrusted crystals. Look at him. He's got a little black nose. And he's on a silver tone chain. It does have a little bit of an extender, not... Well, you've got two different sizes because you can uh, fasten it right here or down further or over here. Um, there is no maker's mark. This is not sterling. 
Uh, but boy, is he cute. And he does move. I will tell you, the little, uh, here, this way, the little body moves. So that's super cute. That one's going to start out at eight if anybody is interested in him. Now, see, if I had a, a dog like that in real life that looked that cute, yeah, it'd have me wrapped around its little paw. All right, we're going to move on to what? What else do we have? Let's do this one. Yeah, he is. He's a cutie. He is. All right. I'm going to do one of these, uh, Cleo, what we like to call Cleopatra style uh, necklaces. Um, and either this is one of those necklaces, either you like them or you don't. The people that do like them don't mind, you know, bigger style necklaces. And the ones that don't like them don't like them because they are so big. Uh, we're going to start this out at five. This is. Um, This is, like I said, it's kind of like a Cleopatra style. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm showing a lot of auburn colored uh, jewelry tonight. This is like a true auburn. It's like reddish brown seed beads. There are some champagne ones and also some texturized metal beads all working together. That's what it looks like in the back. Is that a broken one? Oh, my word, what's going on? I think that's a broken chain. It is. Well, guess what? That one's going in the craft lot. Yeah. See, I today I've had on these glasses all day putting away jewelry. Uh, big mistake. Because <laughs> I needed my bifocals on, apparently. And, uh, yeah. Jeez, oh, peace. I apologize, guys. It will get better. I'm so sorry. Let me find my board here. Yeah, I missed a lot. Well, I guess I'll put it on this board. I can't find the longer one. Uh, this next one is a lariat style. And I am going to start this out at 8. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that's awesome, Amy. That is awesome. So what we have here is a gold tone necklace. It is a lariat necklace. Um, you've got the blue and the clear stones. And right down here, you've got one little lonely stone dangle. Oh, this one's nice, guys. Or I guess this isn't lariat style. It's more like a Y necklace. Um it's going to come right about there. It does have an extender. There is no marking. I really need hmm, I had my long board out here somewhere and it is flat out. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got my long board. Uh, I, I must have cleared it away when I was uh, trying to get situated here. Let's turn this baby around. I need you guys to see this because it's so pretty. There it is. Uh, this is, yeah, I would say more like a Y necklace. And um, I'm going to take it down even, even further so that you guys can see. There we go. Uh, I'm going to measure the drop from the pendant down on that little uh, stone. And there's the stones up above. It's a really delicate one. Um, these kind of necklaces, once again, uh, you either like the delicate or you don't. I do. I like these kind. I think they're really nice. Um, let me measure that drop because that drop is so dramatic. I love it. Just one lonely strand, but it's enough to make the drama. Not quite four inches. It's three and three quarters of an inch. 
Well, Amy, that's great that you had great luck out there searching for stuff. So there's that. You got to get it just right to get back in the bags. I had to order baggies today because I'm running low. Okay, we're going to do some stone bracelets. Um, let me get them out here because I think... Uh, let me see if any of them... If I'm going to do any of them choice of. I might just show them to you. Um, I think they're all going to be different. Guys, I think we'll do it that way uh, just because no two are alike. Uh, so let's start out with the first one. This is a stone necklace, and um, it is very unusual. Uh, we got some agate in here. We've got uh, possible, it's almost like a tourmalinated uh, agate as well. Um, we do have some jasper. So I'll let you look at uh, the stone bracelet. Um, we're going to start this one out at six. It's so unusual, but it's so pretty. Um, so here it is. It's a stretch bracelet. Let's, let's start with this little nugget right here. This little nugget is, um, I believe it is, maybe a type of quartz not real sure on this little nugget that they've they dyed like the striping right there obviously it didn't uh settle that way in the earth uh but then these are the rest of the stones like i said we've got some agate and some jasper in there um we've got browns we've got gray and black um Got like a pink and brown. It is marked CFC. I just seen the rondelle. And it's right there. So there's that one if anybody's interested. We're going to um, go to the next one. The next one, we've got black stone and let me see. I think this might be howlite, but let me look. Yeah. Howlite and uh, that stone. Um, might be some onyx there, looks like. So howlite and what appears to be um, onyx... And here's what it looks like. It's a stretchy bracelet, and it's got like a uh, brassy tone feather, and then it's got the onyx with the howlite right there on top. Um, and like I said, with these ones, you just want to roll it down gentle. You don't want to force it on or anything like that because you want the stretch to stay as taut as it can because... Um, you know, it'll last you longer. So there's that one. Uh, did I say how much? That one is, we're going to start that one out at 6 too. If anybody's interested, okay? So let's go on to the next. The next one... This one's heavy. The nuggets on this one are bigger. Um, there is agate. Oh, beautiful agate. And then there's... Um, that red 
in like mustard gold color. Almost looks like mukaite, which is a type of stone. That's what it looks like to me. Wow, that's cool. That would be my guess. Like I said, along with some uh, true agate, the one piece looks like it has a tourmaline strand running through it. This is gorgeous. We're going to start this one out at eight. This one has a tree of life to it. Uh, like I said, the pieces on this one are bigger. And uh, so this weighs a little bit more. So there's your little uh, tree of life there. I did not test it. Um, I don't see a marking. Here's what it looks like in the front. I showed you the back. But uh, see the beautiful, beautiful stones. Um, take a look at this one in particular right here. That gold, mustard gold color with the red and stuff like that. Reminds me of the stone mukaite. There's another one over here. Um, so I'm not sure if those ones are mukaite or not. But we've got some strong banding going on in the agate. Real nice on those stones. Love it. Ice cold. So there's that. We're going to move on. Um, the next one, we have undyed howlite. And faux druzy. So we're going to start this one out at six. This is a cool fashion uh, piece. Very different. Uh, but here we go, guys. We've got the all-natural howlite. There's what it looks like. Oh, man, these are nice and cold. Um, you know, we're used to seeing the howlite that's dyed turquoise, but this is the natural. And it's got this big chunk of faux druzy that they put some, like, gold leafing on the side. Here's the uh, back of it. You can have it on either side, whichever look you like the best. And it's like a deep um, navy color. So, chunky one, really nice. That one starts out at six. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. The next one is also going to start out at six. Now, this one... I'm going to switch, guys, here in a second. We're going to go to other things. We'll come back to the jewelry. Um, this one is also a uh, faux druzy, uh, but this one is in the shape of a cuff. Look at that. Look at all the sparkle. Uh, obviously, this is not a real stone. It's just a faux stone there, but it's a big chunk. And I will measure the opening. The opening, I can tell you right now, is not that big. Yeah, an inch. It's an inch. Um, and this is heavier uh, metal here, like brassy tone. Um, definitely a smaller wrist. I would say no more than uh, probably six and a half even on this. It's, it's small. Uh, but it is a nice one. So there's that. I mean, you can manipulate the metal, um, but it's it's pretty sturdy. So it would take a minute to do that, just so you know. Okay. Then I do have this stone bracelet. We're going to start this one out at five. Uh, this one, I believe, is soda, um, soda light and rose quartz. I had one just like this a long time ago. We're going to start this one out at five, guys. This one's a beautiful one. Um, I, I sold my other one. I had one like this, though, which is really wild. Uh, so we have a sodalite stretch bracelet with uh, a rose quartz that's encapsulated in that gold tone ring. And like I said, once again, it's stretch. You just put it on and, um, you know, you're just real careful with it. That's what it looks like. So you got the pink and the blue going on. Um, uh, 
Beautiful sodalite. It is nice and cold if you're into sodalite. Okay. Let's show some other things, guys. I'm going to pause on the jewelry just for right now. Let's let's show some other stuff. Oh, I can't remember. This one I got to clean out. I'm going to show this to you guys, but I'm going to clean it out before I send it off. Um, but this is a cool uh, little thing here. I am going to start this one out at $10. And it's a Bombay style basket. I'm going to measure it. Let me measure how tall it is, how wide it is, and then we'll go from there. It is about eight and a half inches long. And at its widest point, it's about nine and three quarters. Okay. So here it is, guys. Um, this is a Bombay style uh, little chest, little basket, if you will. We're starting it out at 10. It's got the uh, wicker all over it. Here's the bottom. And it's got the handles. Um, they're kind of curved. The handles are a little bit. And I'll open it up. Like I said, I'll be cleaning the inside of it. So it won't look like that when you get it. Uh, but it is a Bombay style chest, and uh, you can decorate with it. You can also obviously use it for some kind of storage, um, you know, depending on where you put it. So there's that. If anybody's interested, we're going to move on. I have a jewelry box. Um, this one is a vintage one. And, um, you know, I wasn't real sure, but um, I'm going to show it and see what you guys think. Made in China. Okay, I am going to start this one out at $8. And like I said, it is vintage, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, this is a jewelry box. It's in this, like, um, cherry wood color stain. To the wood and on the top you've got a tapestry uh like cushion right there in the center and here are the sides there is that back there i haven't uh tried i might be able to wipe that down um i'm not sure though if that's a uh we'll just say it might be a scratch it is vintage so that right there, guys, might be a scratch. And then right there, that little one right there. Um, and then this side looks like it could come off. So I will wipe that one down. Uh, I didn't clean the mirror either. Shame on me. Uh, but there's the mirror. And it has a hunter green, like, velvet uh organizer in here. You've got clear off to the side, your rolled um, dividers for your rings. And then there's four sections that you can have for, you know, other jewelry, whichever, you know, earrings or whatnot. So it just depends on what you're into, what you have a lot of or whatever. Okay. So... Got this one. I'm trying to take off the tag where it's not. I think it's going to come off easy. Thank God. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon.
Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get that off. There we go. All right. So I'm going to show um, this next piece. This is one that I picked up um, over the weekend, and uh, I thought it was kind of cute. I've seen these before. But anyway, um, I'm going to have to measure this one for you, too. Um, this one, guys, is going to start out at $14, and this is um, a uh, photograph uh, board. So we have this uh, dark stained wood frame, and then you've got the cream and the gold tone uh, textured board with the clips on there, and you clip pictures of your family or friends or whatever. Um, or uh, some people uh, would use, I've been seeing more and more people using stuff like this to hang their jewelry because it's a clip, like necklaces and stuff, you could do that. Um, or like your honey-do list, maybe your grocery list or whatever. And this is a big, big board. It's pretty big, this one is. And so you have to hang it on the sides here, right here. That's how you hang this one, uh, which is very unusual. But I'm going to measure this so that you can kind of get a grasp of how big this is. This is about 16 and a half inches long and wide. Yeah, it's the same. It's equal. So if anybody's interested in that one, let me know. Just something kind of different. Okay. I got to get up to reach this next one. Because it's clear over here. Clear, clear over here. Um, okay. Um, I've got a three-piece mixing bowl set. Um, I'm just going to start these out at $7, guys. This is a three-piece set. And these are metal bowls, okay? Um, they are metal. And it's three individual ones. You've got this is the smallest. Then that's the medium, and then this is the large, and they are metal, and um, they do not say anything on the bottom at all, so I, I can't tell you who made them. I don't know, uh, but they'd be great for mixing bowls. They definitely would be sturdy. Um, because they're made out of metal, like uh, when you're using a hand mixer. Oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. I picked these up. I thought, well, maybe somebody needs some mixy bowls. I uh, I don't need mixing bowls, but uh, there for a while I had a habit of getting glass bowls, and sometimes I would use them for mixing bowls, and I was like, Boy, you got to quit doing that. <laughs> like, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, I could get too much. I could get carried away. Um, let's do this, guys. I think here's what I'll do. I think I'm going to shut down. Please don't get mad at me. I think we'll shut down right now. Uh, we're not getting the bodies in here that we need to really pull off an auction. Um, and um, that's okay because I know there's other people doing auctions and I totally understand. But here's what I'll do. I'll come back on after a while. I'll open up another stream um, and I'll try to talk to Autumn in between and find out if she's going to be available at all. Uh, to come in tonight, and then I'll make my decision. Um, 
But I think I'm going to shut it down, actually, guys, uh, just for right now, uh, because we really need the bodies in here. Um, and I think maybe I'll just wait. Uh, maybe some auctions are going to fizzle out soon, but... Yes, no, Amy, I totally understand, and I don't want anybody to feel pressured. Trust me, you guys are awesome. Don't even worry about it, trust me. Uh, it's all okay. Uh, you know, things like that happen, and uh, like I said, I know there's other people going live, and um, it's all okay. It's all good. Um, you know, it happens, and, you know, um, I'll see about coming back on. We'll just see. But I'm going to try to get some bodies in here before then. Um, but I think I'll just close down for now. And you guys, it's perfectly fine. I, I had to have a budget. So I, I totally understand. I wish I could spend more than I do. Uh, I love supporting you guys. There's a lot of you and I love to. And uh, I barely ever buy anymore uh lately just because of our car <laughs> uh it's back to where we're putting my car back in the shop we keep going in and out when it comes to vehicles lately and as soon as these cars get totally good to go uh we should be fine uh but yeah that's been why i've been kind of uh saving my money and kind of holding back because uh we definitely need to work on the cars so uh, with that, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I love you, and you guys um, have a safe and wonderful night, will you? And uh, maybe I'll be back. Just look for me. I'm not real sure, uh, but we'll see. I might come back later on, okay? Oh, thank you for understanding. Um, you know, I, I didn't mean to, you know, get everybody excited about an auction and then not follow through. I always follow through, but, uh, you know, like I said, when there's just a few people in here, um, it's really almost difficult, pretty much. I mean, it is difficult to really conduct an auction. And so, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, if I come back later, more people will join, okay? But I'll see you guys later. All right? Bye.